hi guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is Josephine and the channel is let's talk with Josie on this channel if it bothers on our existence then we definitely do talk about it yes so if you are new to this channel please subscribe and give our videos a thumbs up and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for subscribing and encouraging us please do keep your post notification turned on so that you don't miss any of our videos okay so today i want to touch on a topic that bothers on existence of mothers and yes i mean nursing mothers and that is touching on the issue of exclusive breastfeeding or formula feeding yes so before i go into it i want to quickly um, put a disclaimer i am not a medical practitioner i am not a dietitian i am just a nursing mother and i'm going to be talking from just general knowledge and from my own experience as a mother yes so quickly because i don't want the video to be long i saw a post this morning of somebody who feels ashamed that she has to you know formula feed her baby because she's not producing enough breast milk now something has led up to that point where she feels ashamed of feeding her baby in the best way that suits the baby now her reason for formula feeding the baby is because she's not lactating enough so that means her producing enough milk that the baby needs and so she has to supplement with formula now she knows that she's not lactating enough then why is she feeling guilty or feeling like a bad mom for formula feeding her baby because in this case that is actually the best form of feeding that this baby can get now um exclusive breastfeeding who yes who is the best form of feeding for the baby up until the baby is six months old now who come up with different um policies and what at different times yes today you find this they say this is okay tomorrow you find that that is no longer okay so long before who came up with the policy on exclusive breastfeeding parents were formula feeding yes i'm sure my mother did not do exclusive breastfeeding for me but i'm here i'm fine and i i don't have any sickness i even saw a post where somebody said um, formula feeding children before six months is the reason for the high rate of cancer in children abba now abba hmm? breast exclusive breastfeeding is good yes nobody is disputing that fact but there are exception to these cases in some cases it's work in some cases it's even the lactation of the mother so in that case what do you do do you allow the child to starve and yes there, there are mothers who have allowed their children to suffer dehydration because they want to you know stick to the rule of exclusive breastfeeding now in my own case at um at birth like with most mothers I actually did not start lactating immediately and so there was need for me to give water and glucose at least for the first three days of bed. I'm a CS mom and so you understand the peculiarities that surround I, I, I don't get to eat immediately and so there's basically no lactation so what will you do will you keep the child dehydrated no so we give water up until the first three days or five days as the case may be until you're lactating properly and my kids are fine you don't have to have this 
mom guilt because you have to or to or formula feed your baby no breast milk is good i encourage anybody to do the exclusive breastfeeding i did for just for four months after which i reduced formula now the reason why who even says you should wait until the baby is a little grown before you in, introduce solids is in order not to or is in order to reduce the risk of the baby choking and you have a lot of liquid meals that you can actually feed your baby and then for the, the risk of infection and that has to do with your bottle or plate handling yes so you if you if you are going to formula feed your baby make sure that your containers are sterile the spoons the plates and try as much as possible to avoid the bottles if you know that you're not a very careful person yes avoid the bottles use the plates if you must use the bottles it's fine just sterilize you don't even have to go as far as buying sterilizing equipment and all you can just do the normal old boil in a pot add maybe a little bit of salt yes a little bit of salt to sterilize and always make sure that you wash your hands before you feed the baby and when you take little measures like that your little one will be fine you don't have to see there are exceptions to every rule yes there are exceptions to every rule so mom you don't have to feel guilty that you have to formula feed your baby especially in a case where you're not lactating enough formula feeding your baby is actually you doing the best and taking the best decision for the baby there are mothers who have to go to work as at three months and they introduce formula and these children are fine so please as much as we say oh breastfeeding is good i feel like it's not becoming a a, a hard and fast rule no there's no hard and fast rule to this thing breastfeeding is good formula feeding is also good one does not take the place of the other no so please endeavor to talk to new moms around you who have this mindset that once they are not strictly breastfeeding or doing exclusive breastfeeding they are failed as mothers and it's so so bad that some persons even fall into depression because of this particular mindset like oh she goes out her baby is hungry and because people are going to judge her if she prepares formula she leaves the baby to starve come on the society needs to come to that point where we see we actually need to educate more people exclusive breastfeeding is good yes but come on your exceptions to the rule so please what's your experience while you were breastfeeding did you do this six months exclusive breastfeeding i did four months and my kids are fine but what's your experience like and please let's interact in the comment section i think we should do a more comprehensive um, video probably get other moms to you know but before then let's interact in the comment section what are your thoughts on exclusive breastfeeding and supplementing with um, formulas yes what's your what's your own experience please drop your comments and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and give these videos and our other videos a thumbs up thank you for watching i am just saying and if it bothers on our existence then we definitely do talk about it see you on the channel